lectures. So what you're really seeing here is a greatest hits associated with best practices in software development um, and best practices that are expected um, of your work. During this time, we're going to be having people come in to give guest lectures. I'm going to switch to that over and they can give their pitch. When they leave, I'll continue on. So it's going to be this kind of back and forth between the planned material on the one hand and the, the guest lectures. Okay, bearing in mind that this is only the highest level coverage, I want to tell you some of the things that are expected of you. I showed this slide or, or close variant of this last time. There are a set of best practices used very widely in software development, which you're expected to make use of within this class, okay? And it's my goal to provide you with requisite support so you can make use of these. But more to the point, by getting you to use them, you'll be in an excellent position when you transition to um, uh, a professional job to deliver on these. The first of them is accountable positions. For this class, as for software development projects out there in the industry, um, we ask that the teams uh, include individuals within certain defined positions who are accountable in the sense that they take responsibility for certain things. The goal is to have someone who makes sure things don't fall through the cracks with respect to it. There can be for particular tasks. There can be many people contributing, but ultimately someone takes responsibility at the owner's end of the day, they're the owner of, of a certain tasks. For example, maintaining the build, for example, serving as project manager, manager and coordinating deliverables and meetings, uh, for example, making sure the development gets together in time, etc. Um, these are the positions that I'm seeking people to fill. One is a risk officer. Okay. Uh, risk officer should be someone who is monitoring on an ongoing basis for risks and trying to identify new types of risks. Um, a project manager. This is someone whose job is to facilitate, schedule, coordinate, um, and just make sure the project gets its key deliverables done on time. They interface with the um, with the stakeholders, some the candidate stakeholders who are meeting shortly, and their job is to to be there to make the tough decisions when, for example, the project is not coming together in time and you may need to cut a feature or decide to deliver the feature despite the limited opportunity to do peer review. On. Okay, so this should be a risk officer, a project manager. A development team lead, someone who takes responsibility on the development side. Typically, in this class, so last year we had about 40 people in this class, and there were four teams, about 10 people. And uh, some of those teams had three people in development, some had four. In this class, there might be one or two. There's six people registered. Well, there's only six. There's less. When I looked about two hours ago, there were five. <laughs> Don't look now. <laughs> there may be four. Um, no, no. Um, actually, it's it's inconsistent. So on Moodle, there's six. On Pause, there were five. Uh, and we are currently advertising the class. Um, continuous integration. There should be a build master. Okay. Uh, and testing. There should be some testing. Um, now. A key point here is some of these are full-time positions, some are, are part-time. Risk officer, this can be part-time. There's no FT next to it. Project manager, that's a full-time position. There are certain people in this class that get caught up in the idea, I want to be project manager, I want to be the czar who rules this project, and I want to rule the development as well. That does not work. If you're going to be project manager, your job is coordination, facilitation, Helping make sure the project goes smoothly, conflict resolution, sometimes setting up meetings. Um, you're not going to have time to get involved seriously in development. Um, if you want to do heavy development, development lead is a good thing. Um, someone needs to maintain the build, but that's not a full time position. Testing, I mean, a testing lead is. Um, 
triage. This is a team to basically decide what, um, what features stay, what features go as you approach deadlines. That, that can be an ad hoc um, thing on a, on a, uh, uh, on a milestone by milestone basis. So accountable positions, there needs to be people appointed to these positions. And I'll look by this coming weekend for indication from you as to who's gonna make, who's gonna step in for these different positions, okay? Um, and uh, if a bunch of people join the class in the next five days, which would be great, um, I'm gonna send that some so that it'll get sorted out. Okay, the next thing that I want you to focus on this is another key best practice, is risk management, okay? Risk management is basically um, the process of scanning for identi already identified risks that um, may materialize and, and um, looking for new types of risks that have been yet materialized, okay? Um, and the idea here is, look, um, we look for these risks because if we don't attack them, they will attack us. Come on in. You folks, the uh, stakeholder, ah, yes, great. Oh, two of you, oh, that's awesome. Okay, um, terrific. So I'm going to shift from